everyone, welcome to my September wrap up video and in the month of September I read a total of eight books. I actually wanted to read a couple more, like two more books. I just did not get around to doing so. September was actually kind of busy for me and especially the last week of September. I got a puppy. She is so adorable you guys. I would show her to you right now but she's actually sleeping and I'm going to take advantage of her sleeping so I can record and she's actually a really good puppy. She's now like two and a half months. She is just a dream come true and I freaking love her. She is a Yorkie, a Yorkshire Terrier and I'm going to insert a picture of her right here. I just love her so, so much. She is so adorable. Her name is Antoinette. I named her after Marie Antoinette. Uh, so, yeah, that's her name. And oh, I'm so glad she did not wake up because I just said her name. All right. So, yeah, um, there were two other books that I wanted to read that I just did not get around to doing so because of my new little puppy. I love her so much. She is so adorable. She is a complete and total doll. And I'm going to go ahead and stop just being a obnoxious mama and get into my video. I'm going to show you guys which books I read and I'm really happy with every single book that I read. And my October TBR, you guys, is astronomical. I don't know if I'm even going to accomplish every book that is on my October TBR, but hashtag goals. So let's get into this video. So I read Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I had bought this book without even knowing what it was about. I had seen it on Instagram over and over and over again. Just about every post was Six of Crows. So a lot of people were raving about it. I didn't read anything about the book. I didn't read the synopsis, nothing. I just went and bought it. One day I was at Barnes & Noble, I saw it, and I decided, ah, what the heck? So I picked it up, bought it, it sat on my bookshelf for a couple months, and then this was actually supposed to be my July TBR, then it was supposed to be my August, and well, it became my September. And if you know, if you don't know the backstory of that, really quickly, I was in the hospital. I had really major surgery. Then I ended up with an infection from the surgery. And I was in the hospital, in and out, just, ugh, it was so horrendous. But yeah, because of all the medication I was on, I was sleeping a lot. My vision was actually like really blurry. So. I just did not get around to reading much in July or August and also in July I had to euthanize my dog of 12 years so July was just really crappy August was really crappy September was a lot better and so yeah I got around to reading Six of Crows going into a book that I knew nothing about it was definitely risky but I definitely do love doing that because you're surprised and I was so happy with Six of Crows and I'm definitely going to pick up Crooked Kingdom because I want to continue reading this series. Ugh, it is so amazing. I love it. So the next book is by Sabata here. It is An Ember in the Ashes. Oh my gosh, I loved this book so, so much. I was going to read uh, Torch Against the Night, but that was one of the books I just did not get around to reading, and it is not in my October TBR. It may be in my November TBR. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I will get around to reading it. I love this book so much. I was kind of on the fence about it because I had read some reviews where people were just like, eh, and then there were others that were like, oh my god, I love this book, and so I was kind of on the fence, but I freaking loved it. I am so obsessed with the characters, and I am just dying, dying, dying to 
read A Torch Against the Night. So I love it. So the next book is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling. Now if you saw my popular books that I have not yet read video then you know that this was in there. Well this book is now off of that list because I finally got around to reading it. Now obviously I knew the story from watching the movie but as usual the book is always better. I freaking love this book. It made me cry so so much just like every other Harry Potter book. I so want to just sit down and reread every Harry Potter book from beginning to end and just relive the adventure all over again. And continuing with Harry Potter is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. So I have no idea why so many people were so freaking upset over this book. Yes, it is a script. But it was amazing. I loved it. I thought it was very well written and I did not even really see it as a script at all whatsoever. Now a lot of people were angry that it was a script and they felt like they weren't alerted or let known that it was a script but special rehearsal edition script. Yeah. Hmm. So, <laughs> there's that. But, I loved it. It was so amazing. Now, maybe I did not read it as a script because I was in drama club since, like, third grade through twelfth grade. I was in drama club. Then I went into college, and I was in drama there too. So maybe that's why I didn't really read it as a script, but to me I loved it and I want to reread it all over again because I thought it was so amazing and oh my gosh, I mean just I love it. So the next book is American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis. Now I've seen this movie dozens of times because I absolutely love it. The book of course just gets into more detail about Patrick Bateman's character and it kind of makes you think like is Patrick really doing all of these things or is he just hallucinating or, or is he dreaming about doing these things so it definitely is really really interesting and kind of excuse my language kind of like a mind fuck read because at the end you're just kind of like holy shit what the fuck is going on you know and there are parts in this book that are just so gruesome that I could not even believe what I was reading at some parts but on the other hand it was just so very well written that you could actually picture Patrick actually doing these things because of the type of person he is. So if you are of age, if you are, uh, I want to say if you are over 18 because I think that this is a really mature book that I would recommend this to somebody that is 18 or older to read this. Now if you are younger than 18 then I would not recommend you guys read this at all whatsoever, but if you're over 18, then most definitely pick this book up and read it because I thoroughly enjoyed it so, so much that I think other people would. And this is one of Brett Easton Ellis's most popular books, and it definitely is worth reading. So lastly, we have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. And, of course, this is my three-book box set. So we have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Hollow City, and Library of Souls. Now, I read these three books in less than a week because I wanted to have all the books read prior to seeing the movie. And, of course, I have not seen the movie yet because, well, the puppy happened. And the puppy was a complete and total spur-of-the-moment type of deal, kind of. I'll explain that 
in a bit. But um, yeah, I read these books in less than a week because I wanted to get through them before the end of the month, before the movie, and I wanted to get through them rather quickly so I could read the rest of the books that I just showed you guys. Um, now the only one that I need to read next is the fourth one that came out, which is like the stories of the peculiar children or something like that. Um, the history, I don't, I don't remember what it's called. I'll look it up right now. Um, but yeah, let me talk to you guys quickly about my puppy. So like I said, she is a Yorkie. I did go with a breeder that breeds Yorkies. This breeder's Yorkies are AKC registered. So that was kind of important for me because I definitely did not want to go with some backyard breeder that just breeds runts because a lot of these backyard breeders will breed runts so that way you can have these quote unquote teacup Yorkies which are so not healthy at all in the slightest and I did not want to support a backyard breeder much less somebody that is breeding Yorkies that are not healthy at all whatsoever. So I was in talks with about four breeders. All of them were AKC registered. I found them through the AKC website and so all of them were AKC registered. Now two of them, their Yorkies were still pregnant and the dogs were not going to be ready until after December. So I didn't really want to wait that long. <laughs> I really, really wanted a puppy. I did lose my dog back in July and I just been like really lonely and really sad so I definitely definitely did want a puppy just to bring back some happiness into my life the other breeder that I was talking to I just was not getting really good vibes off of that person so I kind of just did not want to go with them now, like I said, all the breeders that I was talking to, I found them from the AKC website. So they were all AKC registered Yorkies, but I just was not getting a really good vibe off of this one breeder. So I went back to talking to one of the other breeders and he was telling me that his puppies were going to be ready in a couple weeks. And so I was just talking to him about just questions like how are, how are the dogs like what are their weights you know send me pictures can I go over and see them and he was just like really compliant he let me go over to his house he let me see his puppies he let me see his dogs and like the entire area where he had his dogs for breeding so that really set my mind at ease and he answered all my questions he showed me proof of like the AKC registration which I already knew that they were because of the website but I just really got a good vibe and I fell in love with one of the okay to be honest I fell in love with all the puppies but there was just one she was so cute and she was just so darling and I just could not could not put her down so when she was ready he called me up and he's like look the puppies are ready and I do have a lot of people that are wanting to purchase them but you really had like this really strong bond with this one so I want to give you the first chance and so I was like oh my god okay yes <laughs> so um yeah I woke up one Saturday morning and my family and I we went down to the breeders house and I bought her so she is just so adorable she is two and a half months like I said and yeah that is where I'm at right now so and I've already spent so much money on her just nothing really of like toys or anything because I had toys from my previous dog my previous dog had like if I remember correctly, I think like 63 or 64 toys total. 
So I washed all of them and I put them aside for, you know, the new puppy and whatnot. And, well, my puppy has a whole bunch of toys now, which I think is completely and totally amazing. But at the same time, I did need to buy um, some teething bones and I did buy one toy that has... Um, like some plastic, not really plastic, but like rubber on it so that way she could like chew on it and she loves it. So that has been amazing and I've just bought a whole bunch of things that she needs, like just pure necessities and I mean, oh my gosh, I forgot how expensive puppies can be. It is so crazy how much money I've spent already and the training, the training, the training is so so tedious but enough rambling about my puppy because I already looked up the book the new book by Ransom Riggs which is Tales of the Peculiar now I need to buy that one I don't own it yet so I don't know when I'm going to buy it it's not something that is on the top of my to buy list but I do need to buy it I just don't know when I hope you all enjoyed my September wrap-up video, and if you did, then hit that thumbs up button down below for me. It'd mean the world to me if you did. In the description box, you'll find links to LitCube and Alcrate, so that way you can subscribe to them if you have not. I definitely recommend subscribing to them if you love book subscription boxes, because those are two of my favorites. I haven't really tried a whole bunch of others, but I do plan on trying a couple more for 2017 so definitely definitely stick around to check those out because there's going to be quite a few that I'm going to try out and I may end up with an astronomical amount of book subscription boxes I don't know you'll also find my social media info to snapchat Instagram Twitter and my tumblr page I'm also going to include my puppy's Instagram page. That's right, she has her own Instagram because she's so adorable and she deserves one. <laughs> so, with that said, in the comments section, let me know if you've read any of the books that I mentioned in this video. I would love to hear your thoughts and don't forget, I always do reply back sooner or later, mostly sooner than later. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my videos. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye, book lovelies.